at mothertomother.com for Sunday, June 3rd, 2018. I wanted to do a quick video to update you on what I am seeing as far as the cryptos are concerned again for June 3rd, 2018. This is live trading. And let's take a look at some of the cryptos. Seems to be some emerging setup that is pretty much across the board. All right, let's begin here with Monero. And you can see that there seems to be RSI 69.1 rejection after they've been moving over the last two days or so. Seems to be rejection here. More importantly, it also corresponds with the previous breakpoint for Monero. This breakpoint is what brought it lower of the levels here. That was at about 300. And it goes on to drop from, let's call it about 300 all the way to under 150. Now trying to recover. But you'll notice that the breakpoint happens to be exactly, or let's say around the RSI 69.1 level. If we draw our uniformity line, we end up with confirmation of resistance right there. Without knowing what the future brings, that's something we can use to anticipate a pullback in the cryptos after movement over the last two days or so. So the swing trade, in my opinion, favors a pullback for Monero. Now, this is not the only chart looking like that. Let's take a look at Ethereum. And for Ethereum on the four hourly chart, Again, we have this RSI 69.1 Uniform Activity Rejection. It also happens to correspond with the break of the RSI on the 4 hourly off the highs there at about 8.40 recently. And we can see that the market has already come back to test that line over the last day or so. And at the highs of today, I believe, Actually, earlier in the session, we hit that level and now we are coiling back. So as long as that's the case, we can anticipate a pullback for a swing trade lower for Ethereum as of right now. Take a look at IOTA, which actually was one of the leadership the last couple of days, but is pulling back. Now, this pullback is not too much of a surprise. Because if you consider the break point, we take this break here off the highs for IOTA and just draw our uniformity resistance line, you can see that we've been trying to hold above that line, but finally we've been rejected here. Now also depending on how you understand this, this is uniform activity below 69, above 69.1 back below it. Uniform activity above 69.1 back below it. Uniform activity above 69.1 back below it. And again, uniform activity above 69.1 back above it. That explains why we are getting this pullback based on all those multiple resistance levels at the 69.1 level. Also, we had a formation of negative divergence, which has led to this pullback. So already some of the cryptos are showing the potential that I'm talking about for a pullback. Now, we take a look at another crypto. As I said, it's across the board. Omisgo, OMG, USD. And here we can see that it was recoiled at the 69.1 level. Recoiled again. So that 69.1 rejection is what is controlling Already we are seeing a reaction. It's pulling back off those RSI highs. We can actually take a look where it broke down. You can see a RSI breakdown of the highs there. And we've gone above the line and back below it. That is uniformity resistance. Or another way of drawing it is to capture the break of the highs actually here it's another way of drawing the same line you end up with the same conclusion so we see that the rsi this is the rsi movement 
that the stock responded to coming off the highs. We draw a line from there. And you can see that we haven't been back here. This is uniform activity rejection above the line back below it. Now that we're below the line after two attempts to move above it that have been rejected with uniform activity, that is now setting the stage for a pullback. We take a look at Ripple, XRP, USD. And here the same thing pretty much. We get the breakpoint of those short term highs. Also, this was 69.1 rejection of the highs there on the four hourly chart. Draw our line like that. We've touched this line before here for those highs. Close enough for those highs. Uniform activity above the line back below it, which gives us possibility of a pullback of the setup for a pullback on the four hourly. For Ripple, take a look at EOS. And again, EOS was actually doing good. You see this break of the highs. Take that line, draw our uniformity resistance line. We've come to tag that line and we've been rejected. So even EOS is showing the look of an instrument that wants to pull back. You can also draw this from another vantage point, which is to consider this break and that break corresponds with coming off the highs again. We can draw a line from there, which is our uniformity resistance line. And again, I'll provide a link or at least look search for uniformity in one of my playlists. Should be a couple of playlists actually where I discuss this method. Which is where we use the RSI to tell us what to do. And so we can see that we've gone above the, the red line and back below it, also back below 69.1. Now, let's take a look at BTC. Now, to date, Bitcoin seems to be the one that tends to pretty much carry the direction or trend for the crypto, so we always have to pay attention until this part of the market or until Bitcoin stops being more like a leader, we have to continue watching it. So anyway, there's a recent break here of those highs. We draw our line like that. Yeah, we can do it like that. We came close here, came close, not quite for those highs. And we've seen that over the last day or so, we seem to have hit that line twice telling us that around here we should expect a pullback for BTC and the entire cryptocurrency complex and again this is live trading that's what I would be looking for now let's take a look at the daily for Bitcoin and so we can draw this current setup here two ways either it is moving above this line or by end of the next couple of days it confirms resistance starts pulling back the pullback is going to have to test recent lows here it's one way of looking at it the other way is just zoom in here a little bit and we can see that the recent breakpoint on the short term basis is being tested. And this is the daily chart right here. So day to day, this is, this is where it needs to make a decision whether it wants to go higher by moving above the red line and advancing beyond the current um, short term movement higher, or it confirms resistance on a day to day basis. And we start seeing it test the recent lows at about 7,000. Looks to me, based on the four hourly charts, that this 7,000 low recently recorded might be tested. That's what it looks like. Now, I am pretty sure a lot of people are playing this crossover on the daily MACD. 
nothing wrong with it. But what I suspect could happen here if the four hourly is correct is something like this, where you fail, drop down again, and it's the next movement of the MACD after a failure point that becomes more reliable. So that's what I'm anticipating based on the four hourly resistance. This is something I started talking about the last couple of days. That the movement higher, this is too, in fact, we haven't even moved above this level here. This short term high of the MACD has not been cleared. Right, so, and at the same time, if you take a look at the other MACD, now keep in mind both MACDs are still below zero which is not a sign of strength. We take a look at the other short-term MACD. It is doing its best to move above zero, which is what the bulls want to see. And it is also, this one looks good because it cleared this level. Now, the last thing the bear, or the last thing the bulls want to see is another rollover back below zero. All right, so let's take a look at Take a look at the ones that are negative for the day. Let's begin with IOTA. And you'll see what I'm getting at here. Now this is the IOTA daily. Actually, I should draw it. And what I'm trying to show here is we had a break recently, which is here, and now we've gone above the same line and back below it with uniform action, which means a turnaround situation is taking place. Remember I was talking about BTC doing something similar to that? All right, now that's IOTA, which was actually one of the ones that was doing well recently. Take a look at EOS. And here we can see, I would take that break point. We haven't even reached this break point and we are still right now already pulling back. And I can also see that there's potential for uniform rejection just like we saw with IOTA. There's a possibility here that we continue back below the red line and that is going to be uniform activity which is potentially if it happens a red flag so the daily charts what i'm trying to say here are looking on the suspect side take a look at ripple as an example and we can see that there's a little node here Take that break point, which corresponds with this movement here. And this is day to day going to be tested. So as we start the new session, this is going to be tested. Keeping with my theme here or my expectation, take a look at OMG or MISGO. Looks like day to day if it is unable to move above this line. If it coils back below the line there, that's going to be a short-term sell signal, suggesting that the recent lows are going to be tested. If we take a look at Ethereum on the daily, this was the recent break. And what we've done is come back to test that same level. So day-to-day -day failure to move above this point on the RSI suggest that the recent laws here are more than likely going to be tested if not broken to the downside. Take a look at Monero which was up a lot coming off the highs as we speak but this is a level that is being tested and this comes from this short term break. This is just short term we're not talking about major signals here. This break point now we are coming back to question is are we able to move above 
that black line, the uniformity, the bearish uniformity line. Failure to move above this line in the short term means that we're going to have to test these lows here. Now, something that is starting to appear possible and this is one of the risks I was talking about. So we are coming to the end of the week, technically speaking, for the cryptos. So once the new trading day begins in a couple of hours, it's going to begin the new week. The problem here is the possibility that this breaks down. So it was trying to stay positive. But if the new week starts pointing down, and we see another attack to fresh lows, that's not good for the cryptos. This is the weekly chart for Monero. Keep in mind Monero on the weekly already trading at all time lows on the MACD. Not a good sign. So I think the way we are trading based on the RSI, the risk now becomes that we actually instead of holding this level here which was what looked like was happening if this does not hold and for all these cryptos if we drop and make fresh lows on the weekly rsi expect a massive drop to the downside that is for monero take a look at all of them in fact they're just all the same same thing here with Ethereum. As of right now, it is actually acting very well. It needs to hold this RSI formation. The last thing you want to do is, after trying to hold, and keep in mind there's also another line coming back from the breakout level. So for Ethereum, we can even take this breakout here, which was very successful. Right. This was a very successful breakout because this is on our way to moving from, I can't remember what the price, the price there, I can check, let me check that price. So we're talking about, in fact, you know what, why don't we go back to that time period? Why not stick, okay, right. so right there at about $10 and this was in October. 2007 17 that's unbelievable all right anyway so that's the rsi movement notice how prices take off now we're in the 20s in the 40s 50s back in the 40s 50s 80s 90s 146 161 200 300 there we go there we go all right, we go break out 400. Now we're in the 700s, 1300s. All right, I believe that's the high right there. All right, so that entry I looked not like much is a big deal. Right here. The stock was trading at 10 when it first broke out here. It came back, had uniform activity support here and bounced higher. Now it was, let's say now it's in the process of doing the same thing. So the weekly chart is what is encouraging. Now what I'm saying is we have to be careful here because if this breaks, that's not good. That's going to lead to some major, major down action. And again, might have to skip some of the other cryptos because they're pretty much all the same and you can check for yourself so we can save time here i'm just trying to show you that all of them have the risk if not most of them the risk of moving their rsis to fresh lows which is going to be a major sell signal what the bulls want to see here in terms of the macd and i've talked about this on multiple occasions what the bulls would rather happen is I would like the MACD to hold the zero area and then start coiling up. That would be bullish. This would be a double bottom support at the RS at the MACD zero line. That would be bullish. So 
the risk here as i'm saying here is we start being down for the next week at some point and we break what looks like the weekly support levels i actually believe that ripple's weekly chart shows this very well so this is ripple on bitfinex notice how there's a line connecting weekly rsi lows now this is very good very constructive as long as this is holding this might set the stage for a fantastic move higher so if you own this you can own it nor nothing wrong with that you can own the cryptos as long as this line for ripple is holding right the line looks good and that's why i'm saying this line needs to be watched because failure to hold that line is gonna be a sell signal so if this line does not hold and we break we have to be careful here not to be part of a major drop and again just do it again all these charts are the same so we can i'm just repeating myself here the problem here is we already have the macd pretty much trading at fresh all-time lows on the weekly it's not a good sign let me finish here because i can look at more and more cryptos but pretty much the conclusion is going to be the same let's take a look at let's take a look at btc on the weekly in conclusion so bitcoin on the weekly pretty much the same thing as the others pull back a little bit remember we were talking about this entry which was very successful right here and that entry for those who are new let me take you back let's go back back in time we're going to go back to this entry here which is here all right let's do that we're going to go right there bitcoin was trading at 240 give or take rsi starts moving high that's the rsi level i'm talking about all right so let's take a look at this from oops all right let's go to current charts how do i do? all right let me go this way all right here we go all right so this is live trading and what i was talking about here there's a line we've been drawing from here which is this entry which is very successful right now we are seeing that bitcoin has also been doing its best to hold this line you can see this is a nice testing of this line looks like a double bottom if this can hold again you have all the reason in the world to hold this is a good reason to hold bitcoin or even buy bitcoin here as long as this holds because this weekly chart is anticipating a major move higher again if you want to buy the cryptos you can buy them based on the weekly charts the weekly charts are giving you all the reason to buy the cryptos what i'm saying is we have to be careful given the hourly right now we have to be careful that we break this line a break of that line tells me these laws here are going to be taken out the laws for 2018 which for bitcoin would be at about six thousand a break of that will be tested or will break below that if this blue line this line here does not hold so we have a scenario here where right now if you use the weekly the weekly is telling you you need to be long bitcoin you need to be buying bitcoin as long as this line holds and as long as the line is holding you have reason to continue anticipating movement higher not day to day hour to hour but week to week based on this line and again this is just simple reasoning the, as long as this holds what this is telling us is that the next major trend is higher that's a fact as long as that line holds and we also know that if we end up failing to hold that line that in itself is a major sell signal just like we've seen with the other cryptos problem here has been and continues to be that the macd's are trading at all-time lows and moving below zero the combination of those two things all-time lows plus movement below zero 
is not a good setup. This is where you see a massive, massive sell-off. And also don't forget that we've seen the other MACD give us uniformity rejection at the zero line. So some things are not there yet. It's only the weekly RSI that looks good. So you can own Bitcoin as long as the weekly chart is holding the RSI line. Otherwise, holding it is a risk. So in conclusion, right now in the four hourly chart, we've seen that the cryptos look like they're pulling back or want to pull back. Remember, we looked at Bitcoin and there's a level here that is being tested. Looks like it is showing double top rejection. So hour to hour, we're expecting a pullback. We also talked about the cryptos as a group. Generally speaking, on the daily, they are coming back to test the recent break levels. Some of them are testing back test lines. Some of them are testing uniformity break levels. Like here. And same conclusion that this is where day to day we are finding a challenge. So maybe a pullback first before they go higher. That might make sense. Otherwise, on the weekly, for all of them, the RSI is giving you a reason to buy. Remember, again, I need to stress this because this is how things start building to the upside. As long as this line is holding, you have all the reason in the world to be buying and to be anticipating a higher price action. If this breaks, then of course we go to the bearish look, which is a massive sell-off. So right now, without seeing the break of this line, the weekly chart is giving a buy signal. So within the weekly chart, buy signal, short term, there's a pullback. So we have to wait for that pullback to play out. And again, you don't have to trade this, day, day trade this. If you're looking to own Bitcoin for months and years, as long as this line is holding, this is where you want to be buying. If, the, if you're a long term multi-month holder, multi-year holder, as long as this line is holding, you have reason to be buying Bitcoin here because this is how they start finding stability and ultimately over time move higher. Cannot stress this enough. As long as this is holding on the weekly, those who are patient enough can still buy the, the current price action even with pullbacks hour to hour or day to day. All right, let me conclude here with a quote for live trading, hour to hour, expecting a pullback. Day to day, we're expecting a pullback. Week to week, we're expecting the cryptos to be moving higher as long as the RSI lines hold. If those weekly RSI lines fail, expect massive, massive drop, which is gonna take out, more than, more than likely take out the lows for 2018. Eric Mwadet, Mwadet.com. As always, good luck, peace, and blessings. E-A-C-S. Woo! Yeah! Woo!